Mesoprostal, Wikipedia article audio. Mesoprostal, sold under the brand name Cytotic among others, is a medication used to start labor, cause an abortion, prevent and treat stomach ulcers, and treat postpartum bleeding due to poor contraction of the uterus. For abortions it is often used with mifepristone or methotrexate. By itself effectiveness for this purpose is between 66% and 90%. It is taken either in the cheek, under the tongue, or placed in the vagina. Medical Uses Ulcer Prevention Labor Induction Abortion Failed miscarriage Postpartum bleeding Adverse effects Pharmacology Society and culture Black market Common side effects include diarrhea and abdominal pain. It is pregnancy category X meaning that it is known to result in negative outcomes for the baby if taken during pregnancy. In rare cases, uterine rupture may occur. It is a prostaglandin analog specifically, a synthetic prostaglandin E1. Mesoprostol was developed in 1973. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. It is available as a generic medication. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about 0.36 to 2 US dollars a dose. A month's supply to treat stomach ulcers in the United States is between 100 and 200 US dollars. The same costs between 30 and 55 euros in Europe. Mesoprostol is used for the prevention of NSAID induced gastric ulcers. It acts upon gastric parietal cells, inhibiting the secretion of gastric acid by G-protein coupled receptor mediated inhibition of adenylate cyclase, which leads to decreased intracellular cyclic AMP levels and decreased proton pump activity at the apical surface of the parietal cell. Because other classes of drugs, especially H2 receptor antagonists and proton pump inhibitors, are more effective for the treatment of acute peptic ulcers, mesoprostol is only indicated for use by people who are both taking NSAIDs and are at high risk for NSAID-induced ulcers, including the elderly and people with ulcer complications. Mesoprostol is sometimes co-prescribed with NSAIDs to prevent their common adverse effect of gastric ulceration. However, even in the treatment of NSAID-induced ulcers, omeprazole proved to be at least as effective as mesoprostol, but was significantly better tolerated, so mesoprostol should not be considered a first-line treatment. Mesoprostol-induced diarrhea and the need for multiple daily doses are the main issues impairing compliance with therapy. Mesoprostol is commonly used for labor induction. It causes uterine contractions and the ripening of the cervix. It can be less expensive than the other commonly used ripening agent, dinoprostone. Oxytocin has long been used as the standard agent for labor induction, but does not work well when the cervix is not yet ripe. Mesoprostol also may be used in conjunction with oxytocin. Between 2002 and 2012, a mesoprostal vaginal insert was studied, and was approved in the EU. It was not approved for use in the USA, and the US FDA still considers cervical ripening and labor induction to be outside of the approved uses for mesoprostal. Mesoprostol is used either alone or in conjunction with another medication for medical abortions as an alternative to surgical abortion. Medical abortion has the advantage of being less invasive, and more autonomous, self-directed, and discreet. It is preferable to some users because it feels more natural, 
as the drugs induce a miscarriage. It is also more easily accessible in places where abortion is illegal. The World Health Organization provides clear guidelines on the use, benefits, and risks of misoprostol for abortions. Misoprostol is most effective when it is used with methotrexate or mifepristone. Misoprostol alone is less effective. It is not inherently unsafe if medically supervised but 1% of women will have heavy bleeding requiring medical attention, some women may have ectopic pregnancy, and the 12% of pregnancies that continue after mesoprostal failure are more likely to have birth defects and are usually followed up with a more effective method of abortion. Most large studies recommend a protocol for the use of mesoprostal in combination with mifepristone. Together they are effective in around 95% for early pregnancies. Mesoprostol alone may be more effective in earlier gestation. WHO guidelines recommend for pregnancies up to 12 weeks to use 12 tablets of 200 microgram. The woman should put 4 tablets of mesoprostol under the tongue or far up the vagina and let them dissolve for 30 minutes. She should wait 3 hours and repeat with 4 pills under the tongue or in the vagina for 30 minutes. She should wait 3 hours and repeat once more. It works in 90% after first attempt and, in case of failure, the attempt may be repeated after a minimum of 3 days. Mesoprostol can also be used to dilate the cervix in preparation for a surgical abortion particularly in the second trimester. Mesoprostol may be used to treat the mother in the case of fetal death which did not result in miscarriage. Further research is needed to establish a safe, effective protocol. Mesoprostol is regularly used in some Canadian hospitals for labor induction for fetal deaths early in pregnancy, and for termination of pregnancy for fetal anomalies. A low dose is used initially, then doubled for the remaining doses until delivery. In the case of a previous caesarean section, however, lower doses are used. Mesoprostol is also used to prevent and treat postpartum bleeding. Orally administered mesoprostol was marginally less effective than oxytocin. The use of rectally administered mesoprostol is optimal in cases of bleeding, it was shown to be associated with lower rates of side effects compared to other routes. Rectally administered mesoprostol was reported in a variety of case reports and randomized controlled trials. However, it is inexpensive and thermostable, making it a cost-effective and valuable drug to use in the developing world. A randomized control trial of mesoprostol use found a 38% reduction in maternal deaths due to postpartum hemorrhage in resource-poor communities. Mesoprostol is recommended due to its cost, effectiveness, stability, and low rate of side effects. Oxytocin must also be given by injection, while misprostol can be given orally or rectally for this use making it much more useful in areas where nurses and physicians are less available. The most commonly reported adverse effect of taking a mesoprostol by mouth for the prevention of stomach ulcers is diarrhea. In clinical trials, an average 13% of patients reported diarrhea, which was dose-related and usually developed early in the course of therapy and was usually self-limiting but sometimes required discontinuation of mesoprostol. The next most commonly reported adverse effects of taking mesoprostol by mouth for the prevention of gastric ulcers are, abdominal pain, nausea, flatulence, headache, dyspepsia, vomiting, and constipation, but none of these adverse effects occurred more often than when taking placebos. In practice, fever is almost universal when multiple doses are given every four to six hours.
Misoprostol should not be taken by pregnant women with wanted pregnancies to reduce the risk of NSAID-induced gastric ulcers because it increases uterine tone and contractions in pregnancy, which may cause partial or complete abortions, and because its use in pregnancy has been associated with birth defects. All cervical ripening and induction agents can cause uterine hyperstimulation, which can negatively affect the blood supply to the fetus and increases the risk of complications such as uterine rupture. Concern has been raised that uterine hyperstimulation that occurs during a mesoprostal induced labor is more difficult to treat than hyperstimulation during labors induced by other drugs. Because the complications are rare, it is difficult to determine if mesoprostol causes a higher risk than do other cervical ripening agents. One estimate is that it would require around 61,000 people enrolled in randomized controlled trials to detect a difference in serious fetal complications and about 155,000 people to detect a difference in serious maternal complications. Mesoprostol, a prostaglandin analog binds to myometrial cells to cause strong myometrial contractions leading to expulsion of tissue. This agent also causes cervical ripening with softening and dilation of the cervix. Mesoprostol binds to and stimulates prostaglandin E1 receptors, prostaglandin EP3 receptor and prostaglandin EP4 receptor but not prostaglandin EP1 receptor and therefore is expected to have a more restricted range of physiological and potentially toxic actions than prostaglandin E2 or other analogs which activate all four prostaglandin receptors. A letter from Searle generated some controversy over the use of mesoprostol in labor inductions. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists holds that substantial evidence supports the use of mesoprostol for induction of labor, a position it reaffirmed in 2000 in response to the Searle letter. Mesoprostol is also on the WHO essential drug list for labor induction. The largest medical malpractice award of nearly $70 million was awarded due to the use of mesoprostol to induce labor in a California hospital. A vaginal form of the medication is sold in the EU under the names misodal and misodel for use in labor induction. Mesoprostol is used for self-induced abortions in Brazil, where black market prices exceed $100 US per dose. Illegal medically unsupervised mesoprostol abortions in Brazil are associated with a lower complication rate than other forms of illegal self-induced abortion, but are still associated with a higher complication rate than legal, medically supervised surgical and medical abortions. Failed mesoprostol abortions are associated with birth defects in some cases. Low-income and immigrant populations in New York City have also been observed to use self-administered mesoprostol to induce abortions, as this method is much cheaper than a surgical abortion. The drug is readily available in Mexico. Use of mesoprostol has also increased in Texas in response to increased regulation of abortion providers.